Okay, today we're going to talk about the differences between Diana V2 over here and Diana Phi. Uh, we get that question a lot and it is a bit of a source of confusion because they kind of look the same. Basically, they look the same because frame-wise and headband-wise and earpad-wise, they're identical. These two are Diana V2s. It comes in a black color and, a, and, a, and basically a light brown color, and or we call it coffee. The Diana Phi's come in a titanium gray, which is a kind of a cool, darker, metallic-y kind of gray, and a uh, dark bronze is the other color, which is a uh, like a dark brown color with a little bit of red in it. Uh, very unique colors actually, the Diana Fies. So differences between the two models are in the drivers. Diana V2 has a different driver uh, set than Diana Phi. Similar magnet structure, basically different diaphragm materials. That's really what sets up the sound difference between the two. Phi is modeled after the big guy, the AB1266. So the driver in Diana Phi is extremely similar to the AB1266. It's a few millimeters smaller in diameter. Same materials, same magnet structure as the 12 big guy. The biggest difference between like Dynafi and the big 1266 would be in acoustics, um, where you know this is a much thinner, smaller, more compact headphone. There's less space in the ear pad. So even though it has the diaphragms and the transducers, or let's say I call them the speakers, have a similar sound character to the big headphone, you, it won't envelop you with that huge sense of infinite depth and space that the 1266 will. Vocals tend to be a bit more intimate. They're a little bit close, pushed up as well. Not forward sounding, not bright, not annoying, but just from a standpoint of where they are in the stage, they're closer to you than say the big 1266, which has more of an infinite depth and can put things out into bigger perspectives. We should also cover, in terms of sound stage, where we discussed that the sound stage is, gets deeper and wider as you move up the line. Um, with Diana, let's, let's talk about versus V2 and Diana Phi. The, the sound stage on Diana Phi, because it's the same, similar driver to the AB1266, when you're listening to a Diana Phi, you'll hear a sound stage that's about a half meter outside your head. It presents itself about that large in, a, let's say, a dome or a circle around your head which again, it's great that it's outside your head and, it'll, and that's where it stages. The big 1266 has relatively infinite depth. It, it really is limited by the, the recording. If the recording has, a, if the room in the recording has a wall 12 feet to the left, you'll most likely hear the wall 12 feet to the left. So the big guy has infinite depth where, because again, the acoustics on this and the small, the, the size of the pads and everything being uh, compressed down into a small form factor, this brings that stage down to around here, which again for most people is great. Um, the, D, the Diana V2 uh, brings that down even further. Still outside your head, but not to the realm that these guys do. So um, again, still very good sound staging. Imaging, no problem all across. You could pick out where the different instruments are, you know where everything's going on. It's very easy to tell what's going on with any of these headphones. Um, but obviously you get, when you move up to the Diana Phi level, um, the, the space between instruments becomes quite obvious, uh, you know, around the instruments, um, particularly in live recordings, it gets crazy good. It's just like being there sitting, listening to the band. Same with the big guy, the AB1266. So the level of information continues to improve, obviously, with the cost and with the models. Uh, obviously, the AB1266 is, a, is, is our flagship headphone. It's considered to be one of the best headphones money can buy, uh, as are these. Um, but what we, do was we, what we do as you come down the line through Diana Phi and then through Diana V2 is we, we begin to lower resolution. In, in our realm, lower resolution doesn't mean boring, dull, lacking highs. In fact, the tonality is very similar across our lines. Um, we have a house sound, so to speak. Um, what, what differences would occur, and the easiest way to explain it to most people would be that the V2 will be a bit more forgiving on lesser electronics, whereas the Diana Phi will scale higher and therefore tends to be more demanding, wants better electronics, more refinement, AKA more cost, high, higher cost electronics. It's not to say that 
this the, the Dyna 5 won't work on, on lower cost electronics. It's just that it's a bit more finicky and you basically got to watch what you mate with. The V2 is a little less particular. So if you're running her with, you know, um, $500 portables or something like that or portable amplifiers or, or hell, even the more expensive ones, she'll be fine. Diana V2 still scales to a very high level. Uh, it's just that D5 will take it even further. And of course, the 1266 is, is crazy. And really, when a customer contacts us and, and we discuss the differences, you know, particularly between the Diana V2 and the Diana Phi, uh, it's really, you should really consider it as to where you look ahead and plan on where you're going. If this is maxing out your budget as it is and the electronics, you're not going to spend a similar amount on electronics, V2 is probably where you want to be. Um, you know, given its price point, it's an excellent headphone and it's just going to, you're, you're going to love it as it is with just about any electronics. The Diana Phi would be more, way more scalable in terms of electronics. So let's say you start off with a lower cost piece, but one day you're going to buy a $3,000 portable digital audio player or, um, you know, or a desktop setup or something like that. You're going to go to a, a bigger tube amp. Let's say you're more custom to a very refined sound, like you have a really high-end two-channel system as it is, and you're just familiar with, you know, that refinement and sound, you're really going to go to D5, and then you'll need to work out the electronics that work well for you and your tastes. Um, so this is, this is kind of the hierarchy of it where you've got, you know, more of a uh, more of an entry to, to medium scale headphone here that will play all kinds of music and genre, no issues. And moving up the ladder to a more refined sound, uh, more clarity, um, bigger sound stage, uh, and greater ability to scale into better electronics in the future, you go with Diana Phi. And of course, the 1266 is for those who just absolutely like the best and they're not concerned about portability. Uh, bass is one of our strong points. It's clean, it's fast, it goes low, and and it's detailed. And most people don't know what that means till you hear it. And so any of these headphones will, will do amazing things for you in the bottom end performance, uh, particularly given the size of these guys. I mean, they, they play way bigger than you would than looking at them. Uh, fit and finish, of course, is, is, is top shelf. Uh, they have the same ceramic coatings that we use on the Big 1266. They're all, they come in these colors. We can do custom colors. There are customizations available to the headbands, possibly too. Again, everything adds dollars to this. It's not inexpensive, but we've had some people do some crazy colors like red and orange and such. And, you know, we basically, they give us the color they want. We try to match it as close as possible. So it's a possibility. And for things like that, you should contact us directly and we'll, we'll, we'll let you know what the capabilities are. It's obvious that black, straight black, doesn't come in the Diana Fly. Uh, we do this primarily to separate the two model lines. Uh, it's pretty obvious when just by seeing it that this is a V2 because only the V2 comes in a coffee and a black and only the Dynafi comes in a titanium gray or the dark bronze. So it's easy to identify the headphones just by sight. And it's just the way we prefer to do things. In terms of music genres, the Dynafi is just raw resolution. I mean, it's not really hiding anything. Uh, it's going to tell you what you're playing. So it again, it's going to be a little bit more not only with the electronics, but with the music, it's going to be a little more picky um, in terms of having a higher quality recording versus something that's not well as well done. So again, you know, basically what that means is if the recording's distorted as all hell, that's what it's going to sound like on the Diana Phi. The V2, on the other hand, tends to be a little bit more forgiving on that. It's got a bit of a smoother presentation without, without losing clarity, which is a trick. It's hard to do. But we're giving you a smoother presentation, but still giving you all the information and detail and, and that you need in order to really appreciate the, uh, uh, the, the, what you're listening to. So, again, if you tend to listen to a huge mix of different material that, you know, you're not necessarily looking for great recordings, then the V2 would be more up your alley, where as the Phi would be more for a refined listen to, uh, you know, probably things that you've selected and chosen over the years and you just really love. And or even for like vinyl sources, this would be amazing. Or if you happen to be a uh, baller enough to own a reel-to-reel, -reel, this Diana Phi would be an amazing headphone, as would the 1266. So it's really about refinement of the system, refinement of the music, and how far you want to take it in the future. We've got customers that own 
two or all three. Um, you know, some people use the Vi in the office and they have the 1266 at home. So hopefully that pretty much describes the differences between our lineup, between the Diana V2, the Diana Phi, and of course the big 1266. Yeah, if you have any questions or whatever uh, beyond this, by all means email us, call us, leave a comment. We'll get back with you on it. Um, our dealers are pretty knowledgeable on this too, so by all means ask them. Thanks for watching this video and take care.